Welcome back everyone to my channel Mathematics MA Simplex. Today we'll be continuing January 2020 CSEC question 1. This is the part 2 section where we're going to look at section B and C of question 1. Let's get started. So looking at this worded question, a stadium currently has a seating capacity of 15,400 seats. Calculate the number of people in the stadium when 75% of the seats are occupied. We're going to take 75% of 15,400. Because it means 75% of the seat was occupied by people. So we have 75 over 100 times 15,400. And that will tell us how many in the stadium. Now the zero is canceled, so we could cancel out the zero. And then multiply 75 times 154. That will give us 11,000. 550 persons. So this question, all we do is find 75% of the seed capacity that was given. So since they say we have 15,400 seats, if 75% of the seats were occupied, then it means I'm able to find out how many persons occupy those seats by finding 75% of 15,400 to arrive at the answer that I have here. Now the next question, the stadium is to be renovated with a new seating capacity of 20,790 seats. After the renovation, what would be the percentage increase in the number of seats? Now, when we think about it, they say they want more seats. So the renovation is basically having a bigger building. And if you're having a bigger building, that can occupy more seats. So there's an expansion that's happening. So first, we have to know, since we want to know the percentage increase in the number of seats, first we have to find out how much additional seats we need to put in this stadium, since we want 20,790. So originally, the stadium contained 15,400 seats. So this is the amount of seats that are in the stadium originally before renovation. Now, after renovation, or after renovation, we want to have 20,000 790 seats. So how much additional seats we need to have in this stadium? So to find the increase in the number of seats, we have to find the difference. So the difference of this 20,790 minus 15,400, subtracting this, what do we have? We have 5,000, 390 seats. So that's the amount of seats that we need to put into the stadium so that we can have the amount that is required after renovation. So we need to now find the percentage increase in the number of seats. So to find the percentage increase, it's going to be the increase of the number of seats over the original number of seats. So in other words, it is this is the increase in number of seats. We found it to be 5,390 over the original. The original is 15,400. And then since we want it as percentage, we multiply by 100. So we can do some cancellations of the zeros. Those two zeros cancel along with this zero cancel. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to enter in your calculator 539 divided by 154, then you multiply by 10, and you should be getting 
If you didn't want to do the translation, that's fine. You could have entered 5,390 divided by 15,400. The answer that you get, you multiply by 100 and you will be getting the same answer. The final question in question number one for this past paper, January 2020. A neon light flashes five times every 10 seconds. Show that the light flashes 43,200 times in one day. Let's look at this question. So it says, the light flashes every 10 seconds. We know one day has 24 hours. Now we're gonna have 24 multiplied by 60 minutes. So that's gonna tell me how many minutes in a day. So 60 minutes, so 24 times 60, that will give me the amount of minutes in a day. So when I multiply 24 times 60, 24 hours is the same thing as 1,440 minutes. Not hours this time. So this is equivalent to 1,440 minutes. But since they're talking about seconds, I'll do one more conversion. I will convert these minutes to seconds. And we know 60 seconds makes a minute. So therefore I'm gonna multiply 1,440, multiply by 60. And here, just multiplying this by 60, I will have 86,400 seconds. So in a day, we have 86,400 seconds in a day. Now, they say the light flashes five times every 10 seconds. So five times, every 10 seconds that's very important so think about it i could find out how many 10 seconds is in the 86,400. just think about it every 10 seconds the light flashes a certain amount of time so what i need to find out is now how many 10 seconds is in 86,400. Just think about it. I need to first find out how much 10 seconds can I get out of this number that I have here. So if I am able to get the amount, remember I know I'm trying to find out how many 10 seconds is there. If I'm able to find out how many 10 seconds I can get, I can able to show that the light flashes 43,200. So here I have five times every 10 seconds. This five times means when I have 10 seconds, the light flashes five times. Another 10 seconds, another five times, and it continues. That's a trend. But reality is 86,400 times, we're not going to do that. But what we can do, we can divide 86,400 by 10 and this is going to tell me how many 10 seconds i have in this value so in other words i have 8640 10 seconds meaning that this is the amount of 10 seconds i have so it's going to be 8640 amount of 10 seconds so remember though it says every 10 seconds, the light flashes five times. So how much time? In other words, I'm showing how much the light flashes in the day. If I want to find out how much time it flashes for, for the entire day, I will have to multiply this 
by five. So multiplying it by five, when you multiply this, you should be getting 43,200, all right? Now, another way you could do this part if you don't want to do it this way. So this is another way. So here, the next way is that we can set it up as this, where we have, see, so see the neon light flashes five times for 10 seconds. And I want to know how much times will it flash if I have 86,400 seconds? Because if I have 10 seconds, it's five times. This is the seconds in a day. So what we're going to do is cross multiply. So we cross multiply five times 86,400 is equal to x times 10, that's 10x. Now multiplying 86,400 times five, to realize I'm getting 432,000 is equal to 10x. So finally, I just divide both sides by 10. This cancels and one of the zero cancels. So if you realize now I'm able to show that I'm still getting 43,200. So both method is able to show me that the light will flash 43,200 times. So one method is for us to look at it where we say every five times every 10 seconds it flashes. Therefore, we can go ahead and divide this by 10 because we're gonna find out how much 10 seconds I can get from this. So we divide it and we get 8,640. So this is telling me this is the amount of 10 seconds in a day. And we multiply by five to get the amount of times the neon light will flash. Another method is that we set it up where we, since they say the light flashes five times every 10 seconds, then how much times will it flash if I have 86,400 seconds? So the next step is just to cross multiply. So five times 86,400 is equal to x times 10. So we have 10x. Multiplying this, we have 432,000 is equal to 10x. Then we divide both sides by 10. This cancels and one of the zeros cancels. So we have 43,200 times and that's it. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have more questions, you can leave a comment below.